Okay, Bridges here, and as you can see, a little bit of work has been done uh, to the piano on the electrification front. It's mostly done. Um, there's a few minor um, details to take care of. I've got to get it come up with an antique plug and socket to go here in place of this um, clip so that any time you remove the player piano action, the um, light socket doesn't have to be removed. And um, I've got some clips I need to install in the bottom of the um, piano cabinet. But the electrification job has come along real nicely. Got some nice cloth covered wire here. Have to show the back of the piano. There's the line cord where it plugs in at the wall. And if I can unplug this one handed here and move the piano back. Oh, I have to move the bench first. Let's see, I didn't prepare for this video. You could see how I connected the electricity from the line cord to go into the inside of the piano. There is a um, junction box here with a recessed um, male receptacle mounted in there and that accepts the female end of this um, cord here. And then a three wire cord. I just used what I had on hand. Eventually I will replace that with some uh, cloth covered um, SO cord. I mean, yeah, some cloth covered uh, cord. I just had this on hand, so that's what I went ahead and used. And I drilled a small hole there in this part of the soundboard, although I don't really don't think that is more than a filler, because there's this massive timber right here where all the ribs terminate, so I think the soundboard actually ends with that right there, and this is just a filler piece. So that's the line cord. <clears throat> and then let's go underneath the piano here. Let me take the bottom board back off. And I'll um, show you what's down here. Set that to the side. It's kind of dangerous doing these things one-handed. And I still need to do some uh, clips to, to tie everything up real nice. But I've got things mostly the way I want them right now. So the SO cord from underneath, from behind the piano, comes up and into a, a box mounted there where there's a hidden kill switch. It's just a switch outlet combo. And there's a, a kill switch there so I can, I can uh, tilt this bottom board out just enough to reach in there and kill it and then put it back so that if anyone um, plugs the piano in and tries to mess with it, they won't be able to operate it because of that kill switch. And then there's the receptacle for the suction box. And I ended up using a different cord than what comes with the suction box. Used a right angle cord and there it's sitting on its little box there. And all the wiring where it comes in from above the uh, speed selector switch and then the wiring from the controller here goes up and underneath the keys and then back down at the back there. So really, really not a bad setup. It came out pretty good. There's plenty of room for everything. Eventually I'd like to um, glue some felt to this so that this doesn't slide around so easy. But where it sits is pretty good, and I'm quite pleased with everything. So, let me plug the piano back in. 
push it back, and we will play Winchester Cathedral here on the color and Campbell. Now that it's been electrified. Wheels don't roll as well as I'd like for them to, do they? <laughs> That's going to be the next project, is new, um, new casters. And the kill switch kills everything, it even kills the light in the uh, player compartment there. And then plus there's the pull chain right here, which I... Originally when I first made this bracket, I didn't make it quite tall enough, and the wire didn't clear the motor, so I made it taller. And unfortunately, I wasn't thinking ahead, and I went ahead and cut the chain. I really would like this chain, the bottom of the chain, to be level with this bottom screw here on that bracket. So I'll have to, um, it's easy to take this apart and splice on a longer piece of chain. That's a very minor issue, just slightly irritating. Put this in play before I turn the pump back on. And I have my pause issue all sorted out, as you can see. Oh, I thought I did. There we go. I didn't have it moved all the way over. It might still want a little bit of adjusting, but it's been working pretty good. So, there's always something to do. Winchester Cathedral. Pause is pretty good. All right, so there are still some things to uh, to do on this, but 
Um, I'm very happy with the way this piano has progressed. Uh, and uh, really the next step is adding the automatic rewind and tuning. The question is, will I attempt to tune it myself or will I go ahead and hire a piano tuner? Stay tuned, we'll find out. Although, probably I'm going to hire a piano tuner. But, thanks for watching. This is Oklahoma Bridges. See you next time.